Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see how to create a simple report using Power BI Desktop. Okay, so for this, let us go to Power BI Desktop. So once you double click on the icon after your installation, uh, this is the screen that will be shown. So let us close this. Now this is the ID for uh, Power BI. Okay, so now first of all, let us go to get and let us go to SQL Server. Okay, you could have also gone to more. And over here in database, we could have selected SQL Server. Okay, we can even select any other database. Okay, similarly, we can pull data from Azure or online services like social media and all. Okay, so let us go and select SQL Server. Now, the data that we want is in this particular server. So let us copy the name of the server, right? And let us paste it. Okay, and also. Inside this server, we want the data to come from this database. Okay, so let us copy the name of this database. Let us go and paste. Okay, if we want, we can also provide a query. Okay, and the timeout in terms of minutes. Okay, so there is also an option. But for this one, for this example, let us click OK as we'll pull the old tables. Right. So now it is showing us that these are the objects. See, these are the tables, right? And that tables are being shown over here. So let us select customer. Let us select products. Let us select sales, and let us select time. Okay. And now, if you want, we can directly load the data right now, or else, if you want to edit the data before loading in Power BI, then we can go to edit. So it opens up the query editor. This is the transformation part. Okay. So if you want, you can. Transform the data over here. Let's say if you want to split this data, okay, based on this dash, right? Then we can go to split column delimiter, right? It has automatically selected custom and dash. So let us click, okay. So we can see now this column has been divided into two columns. So in this way, if we want, we can transform the data also, okay? Now you can say close and apply, close and apply. Okay, so now it is applying the changes that we have we have done as part of the transformation, and it has loaded all the four tables in the field section. Okay, now let us go to sales. Let us select total sale amount. Right. So as we can see by default, if we are selecting a numerical value, it is selecting the graph. Right. That is, it is selecting the chart bar chart. And let us see if we want it by calendar year. Okay, so, right. So we have selected sales as per calendar year. As we selected a numerical value, it has selected this bar graph. But we, if we want, we can change this also. Let's say we want to convert into table. Then it will show in the tabular format. Okay. We can even change to any other graph. Right. We can select the graph over here, and it will change the data as per that graph. Okay. Fine. So, right. Let us stick to bar graph right now. Now, what if we want to drill down based on the quarter also? Okay, then we can add the second value over here. Okay, so it will not change anything over here in the display part, but see over here. This has been added. Okay, so if you click over here, and this has also been added. Okay, let us understand this functionality. If you click over here, then it has taken you to the next level that is quarter, calendar quarter. But this is all calendar one quarters of across all the years. This is calendar two quarters across all years. Okay, in that way data is being shown. What if you want to do drill down? Then you go over here and click enable drill down button. Okay, then it will have black background. That means it is now enabled. Now it means that if you click over here for 2004, then it will show quarter wise data only for 2004. Okay, so now it shows only data for 2004. Let us go back. Let us do the same for 2003. Okay. Let us do it for 2002 and for 2001. Okay. So in this way, if you want to enable drill down functionality, this is the way to enable it. Okay. Now, what if we want to? What if you do it? Uh, put this quarter in the legend part. Then it will have data of the year and all the different uh, quarters will be shown in different colors. Okay. So in this way, you can create different graphs, right? 
or different tab reports if you want to put the same data in table it is like this if you want to put the same data in a, in a bar graph it is like this right so in this way you in power bi desktop you can create different types of reports now as part of this uh, demo let us do the last thing that is let us save this so let us go and let us name this as power bi report underscore zero one now it will save in the pbix extension okay so let us save so now this uh, particular report has been saved okay so i hope friends this video tutorial on how to create reports using power bi desktop is useful to you thank you